just make a little video talk about a little modification I made to some 511s that I really like and uh, basically my issue was the knee pads when you put them in 511s most of them have little knee pad inserts on the inside that you can put something into um, they wiggle around too much they basically shift inward and flop all around and uh, the ones that 511 makes are just quite frankly big and chunky and gross and I think overpriced for what they are. And so I put some cry inserts in here. I put them in upside down because of the placement of the pocket. When I actually bend my knee, I put it upside down and it put the plastic part where I want it to be. So that looks, that looks kind of dumb if you recognize that, but what I did to make it usable and reduce the issue of it flopping around was I put some Velcro straps on the back of this and uh, Basically, Walmart sells some $6 Velcro retention straps with buckles for like yoga mats or whatever. And it's pretty, I feel like the Velcro is pretty good quality. It's pretty sturdy. And also, if you do your sewing right, it should stay on there. Uh, literally took me like five minutes to figure out how to use a sewing machine. And I did this with a relatively cheap sewing machine. So if you're concerned, yes, it could work with the thickness and the heaviness of the 511s and the Velcro on a cheaper machine. And, uh, yeah, this just makes it a lot more usable. Uh, you might look a little bit dumb. It's not the most aesthetic thing, but uh, it definitely, I think it's worth it because it's pretty ridiculous to have the knee pad slots in there and not be able to use them because the knee pads just flop around and are giant and bulky. This is also slimmer too, so it's less noticeable than the, the uh, ones they make for the pants and it will work with my turnout gear and whatnot. So, you know.